photographic drawing tutorial. Here are the materials needed. This is the object that we need to convert into an orthographic drawing. First, mount your paper properly. Next is to divide the space into four quadrants. To do this, measure 3.5 inches starting from the upper borderline. Next, from the left borderline, measure 5.5 inches going to the center. After that, we're going to add four more guidelines with a measurement of one centimeter on both sides of the vertical and the horizontal line. This step will give us intersection points that we will be needing in order for us to start with each view for the orthographic drawing. Let's start by using this figure again as our reference. From the intersection of the third quadrant, let's start creating the front view of the given object. So the width and height is measured as 6 cm. So let's put it on the vertical and horizontal line, 6 cm for the width and 6 cm for the height. Start creating the outline of the front view. Let's now add the measurement for the details of our front view. So the measurement for it is 2 cm based from our reference. the front view, we're going to extend all the vertical lines to the top view and all horizontal lines to the right side view or simply vertical lines to the first quadrant and horizontal lines on the fourth quadrant. Since we're done already with the front view, let's start creating the top and the right side view. So from its intersection, first and fourth quadrant, let's start adding the depth of the object which is 4 cm. So from the right side view or for the fourth quadrant, measure 4 cm starting from the intersection going to the right. Next, for the top view, from its intersection or for the intersection of the first quadrant, going upward, measure 4 cm. Then start creating the outline of the top and the right side view. Let's 
now start finalizing our drawing with the use of our technical pen for the visible lines as well as for the hidden lines. After that, is to use our eraser to erase all the guidelines. Make sure to erase it as neatly as possible. For the final step, let's now add the label for each view. So in order for us to do this, let's use 1 fourth inch as the measurement for the space as well as the text. First, let's start with a 1 fourth inch as the space for our view and text. Another 1 fourth inch for the text itself. Same goes with our front view and the right side view. So 1 fourth inch for the space and 1 fourth inch for the text. After that, create the guidelines in order for us to start with our lettering. Once you're done with the guidelines, start adding the label of each view. Make sure to use your technical pen in order to outline each label. And of course, erase the guidelines afterwards. Then that's it. You're done already with your orthographic drawing. You have the label for each view. And thank you for watching.